ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ഡേ ഫോർ നാച്ചുറൽ ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ റിഡക്ഷൻ ഇസ് എ ഡേ ദറ്റ് എൻകറേജസ് എവ്രി സിറ്റിസൺ ആൻഡ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ടു ടേക്ക് പാർട്ട് ഇൻ ബിൽഡിംഗ് മോർ ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ റെസിലിയൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് നേഷൻസ് ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ റിസ്ക് ഗവേണൻസ് ഇസ് ദ തീം ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ഡേ ഫോർ നാച്ചുറൽ ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ റിഡക്ഷൻ the un general assembly designated october 13th as international day for natural disaster reduction what are the major natural disasters and how the flood affects our state kerala let us listen to bishwas of plus 2 biology our ngc club member every year natural disasters kill around 90000 people and affect close to 160 million people worldwide natural disasters include earthquakes tsunamis volcanic eruption floods wildfires heat waves and drought earthquakes volcanic eruption landslides meteors and other water explosions above or below water all have the potential to generate tsunami events like gas leakage oil spill nuclear meltdown and industrial fires transpire through human error and carry great consequences often hazards become disasters that cause human and economic losses and magnitude of these losses is increasing in 2018 and 19 due to heavy rainfall in the monsoon season severe flood affected kerala in this flood so many people lost their life and several types of damages were faced kerala's state disaster management authority kerala police with the indian air force civilian volunteers fishermen from coastal kerala actively engaged in the rescue operations in the flood affected regions how can we minimize the effect of natural disasters here is ashudi r of plus 2 biology to say about it the prevention of natural disasters are necessary because it also affects the animals as well as humans the natural disasters can be stopped but their effect can be minimized awareness education preparedness prediction and warning systems can reduce the disruptive impact of a natural disaster on communities the mitigation strategies like adoption of zoning land use practices building codes are needed however it prevents or reduces the actual damage from hazards complex infrastructure population growth and widespread poverty are some of the reasons but human activities such as land use practices have a great impact on the ecosystem by planting of more trees and conserving forest we can minimize all these natural disasters nature based solutions such as conserving forest wetlands and coral reefs can help communities prepare for cope with and recover from disasters they can also reduce secondary impacts from non climate related disasters such as landslides following an earthquake covid 19 and the climate emergency are telling us that we need clear vision plans and competent empowered institutions acting on scientific evidence for the public good this needs national and local strategies for disaster risk reduction please share the video thank you all for watching